Hello, everybody. What is going on? I am Nunez. I bring you guys here some very interesting news here today. Talking about Fairy Tale, actually. I know a lot of you are probably thinking, next, what's going on with you in Fairy Tale? Uh, what's up with you in Fairy Tale? We're going to talk about Fairy Tale, Natsu, Lucy, etc. I actually took a long hiatus from Fairy Tale. I took a year and a half hiatus from Fairy Tale. And a lot of people constantly keep asking me this because I kind of boomed Fairy Tale to a lot of the community or pokemon community whereas because i made this video that kind of went viral and it was a top 10 anime and fairy tale was number one at a time that was a favorite anime and a lot of people got into it so they started to wonder what happened to me with it well i just kind of took a year and a half break from the anime i wasn't really too hyped the comeback of fairy tale coming back was hype but how they portrayed season two i just wasn't feeling season two you know it was very obvious very predictable even though it kind of was that in season one but it just really drove me more to be excited about it in season one than season two you know i just wasn't feeling it we're going to be talking about a brand new project that's in the works by fairy tale tv that they're making right now so of course if you're interested enough to learn about this and you're happy to see some fairy tale content by all means give it a thumbs up subscribe if you already haven't and I'd love to hear feedback down in the comments down below, but let's begin. So it says here though, in this uh, link that will provide the source in the description down below, it says this year's 17th issue of Kondasha's Weekly Shonen Magazine is revealed on March 23rd that the fairy tale television anime series has a new project in the works. The announcement did not give any more information about the new project. <laughs> so sum it up, we know nothing. We just know that there's something being new worked on. So it could be like a new anime, it it could be a comeback. I'm guessing their project might be a comeback. It could just be something completely different. They could pull a Kishi and they could make an entirely new anime series but by the same creators of Fairy Tale, but a new series. That's what Kishi's working on right now, according to a better series than Naruto that he's working on. So, I don't know, I might be stretching it way too far. But it says the Fairy Tale television anime series has a new project in the works. So, it might just be another OVA, kind of like Fairy Tale Zero, I don't, some type of thing like that. I have no idea. But if you guys didn't know, the actual Fairy Tale season two right now is actually about to end in episode 102, which has actually already ended on March 26th. It's already over. Um, so, I guess now I'll probably catch up back on it and we'll see where it goes from there. I'll watch the Tartarus arc and see how that goes, how it portrayed. Because now the, the anime is slowly becoming an etchy now. You know, it's like, oh. Lucy's rag, man, looks great great today, you know? It's just like, they show way more of it. Like, there was an episode that I watched of Airs on a cat costume. I'm not complaining, but the cakes were there, and they zoomed in on it. Like, the angle, too, it's just, what happened, man? <laughs> Fairy Tale's just going downhill for me, you know? I'm just not feeling it. I know a lot of people are probably like, oh, but Nexus was bad to begin with. That's really opinionated. I thought it was great to begin with, but... I still like the show. I just I don't like the direction they're going in. But to continue on with this, it says the first television anime series aired between 2009 and 2013. Hiromashima's original manga has also inspired several video anime adaptations, including the upcoming anime that will ship with the manga's 55th and 56th volumes in May and July, respectively. A second anime film has also been greenlit after the first one premiered in August 2012. Boom. And I guess we'll also talk about how Fairy Tale Zero is a manga prequel between January 9th and March 11th. So, uh, yeah. So that's pretty much it. Really, they're all in the store, so leave it in the description. But I'll talk more about Fairy Tale. I just wasn't feeling it. It went kind of a little downhill for me, and it became, it was already kind of a little bit obvious and predictable, but it became even more obvious and predictable. You know, I didn't think that it could happen, but it did. The manga right now is actually great. You know? The manga is great. I might do some weekly reviews on the manga or bi-weekly or monthly however the anime system the, the main system for it works i haven't read the manga in a long time so I'll probably catch up back up on it but uh, I, I don't know man it just was really upsetting you know it was it was upsetting bro it was upsetting <laughs> it was really upsetting but i guess that's it so fairy tale the anime is over so if you missed it which you a lot of people probably did. It may come back. I hope they don't give it the same treatment and make us wait such a long time like we did with season one's ending. But I guess they're ending it off on a time skip, which I need to kind of catch up on it. I really specifically know where they're going to be ending it off on. But they're ending it off on actually a good point, I believe. You know, it's a time skip right when it starts. So it's not a cliffhanger, but eh, you know, you know, it's, it could have been worse. You know, I just hope they don't give it the bleach treatment where they never make an anime for it ever again. But it's fairy tale. They they probably will bring in another anime because it's the only anime that has been long going, ongoing, and long run. Like other animes that weren't like Kimmy Born stopped, Bleach stopped, Hunter x Hunter stopped. All the animes like those they kind they were long running, 
and they had a lot of episodes, but they stopped. A lot like Dragon Ball Z was still continuing on, and Naruto, which is still going on, they still have a lot of episodes, even One Piece. Those are legendaries. You don't touch those, all right? And it, Bleach and Hitman are born used to be a part of that, and Hunter x Hunter was almost about to be a part of that, which, in a way, it kind of was, since it had a lot of episodes. And then, of course, Magi was also considered to be one of them, but then Magi, of course, it became short. 25 episodes each season, which two seasons, total of 50 episodes, so... Closest thing next we have to that, but I don't know, man. Fairy Tail was the last anime that was really ongoing, that was long, and Attack on Titan was also going to be on that list, but they kept it short. But, but yeah, Fairy Tail was one of those animes that was going to be long, just like that, and it's kind of overdue that long anime don't sell anymore. They just don't. No one has the time to sit through and watch insert amount of episodes here, like One Piece. Who has the time to watch almost 800 episodes of One Piece? Even though there's, there's obviously a lot of filler in between there, but no one really has the time for that anymore. The attention span for a lot of nowadays anime watchers is slowly going down, and that's why anime is kind of dying, but not this year where anime sales have actually been going up. Not manga-wise, anime-wise. Viewership positivity has been going up up to this year from the quote-unquote being the year of the anime. It's also the year of Pokemon. It's a, lot, a, a year of a lot of things, honestly, this year. But, yeah, anime's actually doing really good this year because it's got a lot of promise. There's Seven Deadly Sins coming back. Uh, My Hero Academia, which I'm just going to talk about in a separate video coming. Um, there's Tokyo Ghost Season 3, somewhere confirmed around this year. Uh, One Piece and a godlike arc. Naruto, you know, about to be out of fillers, you know, soon. And Attack on Titan Season 2, kind of hype, honestly. And Dragon Ball Super, it's kind of the year for anime that's doing well. All right? But... As you can hear from the beep, I apologize about that. That's actually going to be it though for this video. So of course, if you enjoyed, by all means, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for me if you already haven't. Leave your feedback down below. I'd love to hear what you have to say. And I'm going to get up out of here. Goodbye.